June the 11th, 1987. Vasula writes, By now, most of our furniture gone, I have to look for chairs to sit to write. The house is still messy after the packers left. Heaps of papers, here and there. Shoes, bottles, papers, belts on all desks. Yet, in all this moving, among the buffets we had to prepare for farewells, one for 80 people, another 30, God's hand did not release a bit. I always found time for him to write. Two, three hours daily. He gives me incredible strength and I don't feel the least tired. I'm in total peace, his peace. The Lord speaks. Fasula, beloved of my soul, stay near me, face me, Let my finger touch your heart, my child. If you knew how much I love you, I will guide you till the end. Sacrifice more for me. Will you suffer for me? She answers, Yes, Lord, do as you please. She writes, He had previously asked this, but I had hesitated, fearing. Now he asked again. The Lord speaks. Fasula, I am so happy. Will you sacrifice yourself for me like a lamb? Fasula answers, Do as you please, Lord. The Lord speaks. All will not be in vain. All will be for peace and love. My thirst is great, Fasula. I will lead you into arid lands where your eyes will behold what you have never seen. I will lead you with heavenly force, right into the very depths of my bleeding body. I will point out to you with my finger all the sacerdotal sinners who are the thorns of my body. I will not spare them. I am worn out. My wounds are wider than ever. My blood is gushing out. I am being re-crucified by my own, my own sacerdotal souls. Vasula speaks. My God, you give me so much pain. Why, why would they do that to you? Why? The Lord speaks. Vasula, they know not what they are doing. Beloved, strive with your God. Be willing to face my sufferings and share Share them with me. Vasula speaks. I will, to console you. Remember those who love you. The Lord speaks. They are the beloved ones of my soul. I need more of these souls, immolating their hearts for me. I love them. I trust them. They eat from me. They are my sacrifice. They are the smooth petals which replace my thorns. They are my myrrh. Fasula, do not fear. We will penetrate deeper, deeper still where darkness prevails. I will lead you. Fasula writes, Later on my soul started to feel God's bitterness. Everything, every food or drink which comes into my mouth tasted bitter. He made me drink from his chalice. I then had problems in breathing. My soul and my body ached. Vasula writes, 